Hello and welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing crafts and DIY projects. And yes, I'm coming at you from a webcam in my kitchen. Why? Because I've gotten a lot of questions recently about machine embroidery, how I download designs, fonts, get them from the computer to the embroidery machine, and what all I do. So that's what we're doing, and I'm gonna be sharing my screen for most of this. If you have any general questions, feel free to uh, leave them below. I'm gonna try to answer them. Full disclosure, I am not an expert, so I'm just kind of showing you what I do. There may be other ways, there may be better ways, and that's okay, so let's get to it. All right, let's start off with embroidery software. I have not made the leap to pay for software yet. I may in the future, but for now, this free software and Brilliance Express seems to be fitting most of my needs. So I'm gonna roll with it for now. This is the website and they've got Mac and Windows versions and it this one's free. Now, keep in mind the functions on this one, very, very limited. And I'm going to explain that a little further into the video, but really what I use this software for is to use my downloaded fonts in the .bx format and I just use it to make like words, phrases, so that I don't have to do that in the machine. You can actually take the font like into your machine, but then you have to do each letter individually and that would take you like all day. So I do find that this helps save some time in that regard, but I'll explain this again, but you can't do a lot of things. Like you can't merge designs, you can't add font and a, des and a design that you downloaded. So if you haven't downloaded the software, I mean, give it a go. And everything I talk about, I'm gonna be linking below in the info box, so be sure to check there. I also have a lot of other videos about machine embroidery and my experience with it. I've been doing this for about a year now. I know it, it feels so long ago, but you know, I, I don't know, this is still kind of new to me. And we're also gonna go over, I'm going to actually, on this video, buy an embroidery design and also buy a font just to show you what it's like. I've gotten a lot of downloadable designs from Etsy and I've also gotten quite a few from uh, embroiderydesigns.com. Here, I'll show you this. There are a lot of uh, free designs. So if you go to this website, oh gosh, there's a lot of pop-ups here. Oh, all right. Yeah, so it says thousands of embroidery designs for free and you can also click here and then see, and you can get, with no purchase, you can get three free designs per week. And the quality of these, I found them to be pretty good. I think some of the appliques are super cute, like these little animals. I haven't really had an excuse to stitch these out, but I've downloaded quite a few of these. And obviously because these designs are uploaded from different designers, the quality can vary, but overall I've had some pretty good luck with them. And some of them are super cute. You can get seasonal. I actually did download this beach scene. And I think, and yes, I did do this abstract coffee cup. So there's a lot to choose from. And yeah, and if you buy something, you get six free per week. So I mean, if you go here once a week and download like three per week, you can build up your design pretty quickly. Another option for embroidery designs for me has actually been my blueprint subscription. I've done a few classes where they had free downloadable designs, which was great. So if you search here, machine embroidery, they have a lot of little classes with different projects and then you can download the files that come with it. So that's actually been great for free patterns and free designs. Okay, this is good. This is a class called In the Hoop Gifts. You can see in resources here that there are quite a few downloadable file. So I'll go ahead and actually download it just so you can see what it's like. The brother machines are the PES file format. If you have a different kind of machine, make sure you know what kind of file you need. But most of the sellers and most of the places I've seen that offer embroidery designs offer all different types of file formats. So yours should be in there. Okay, so here we go. So this is what it looks like when I download a design. So it comes zipped, so you need to actually unzip the file. Here is the file and notice it's got this zipper on it. You're gonna need to unzip the file. All right, so we're gonna right click on here, hit the option extract all and that will unzip all your file folders. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now you'll see some folders in here and here's all the files that you'll be making in the class. 
So what I'm gonna do, I actually have a dedicated folder on my desktop where I keep all of my embroidery files. So mine I just call embroidery files and you can see I've got quite a few in here. And I'm gonna relabel this in the hoop gifts so I know what it is. And I'm gonna drag this into my embroidery files. So now when I click on this, the in the hoop gifts shows up right here, see? And you can see everything that's in there, zipper pouch, fox, I might actually make these, these are sort of cute. Okay, so that's what happens when you download a, some designs. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and go to Etsy and I'm gonna purchase a font just to show you what that's like. So I'm gonna go to Embrilliance Express and show you how to import the font and how to import any type of design and show you what you do in here. I purchase a lot of fonts on Etsy. I think the prices are great and you can have a great selection of different types of designs. Here's something to keep in mind though. I've noticed quite a few designs. You'll notice if you look at this listing here, notice it comes with uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. It does not come with punctuation. So if you are just looking to do names, you know, initials, this is fine. If you are looking to do something like a word or a phrase, like if you're, say you wanna do it's fall y'all, you're gonna need one with punctuation. Now notice this comes in different sizes and also it tells you what formats it comes with. So it does come with BX. So that's really the one I want from Brilliance Express. So if you do want one with punctuation, I found search for .bx embroidery. Actually, let's do, do I'm just gonna do BX punctuation. So here's, okay, here we go. So here's a lot of fonts with punctuation. And I'm gonna go ahead and purchase one just to show you what this is like. Actually, this starfish one is sort of cute. Usually the seller will have an image of all the characters it comes with and just make sure that for whatever you need to do for your project, it has what you need. Otherwise you may kind of feel a little, little uh, short changed there. All right, let's take a look at the starfish script. It's actually, I do actually really like this script. I think it's super cute. Even though this one does not have an apostrophe and it has a comma, what you can do is use the comma, but then change the placement of it so that it looks like an apostrophe. So again, that's, that's another way you can get around it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and download this one. And some of these sellers will have pretty big discounts if you buy more than one font or if you do like $10 or more. So I'm gonna add to my basket. Okay, so see this one has three or more items from this shop, get 20% off. Also as a side note, I've had that llama applique design in my cart forever. And one trick or tip to kind of not overspend, don't buy the design until you really need it. Like you can buy stuff all day long, but then you might not stitch out the project for six months. Why not just buy it when you need it instead of buying it just to buy it? All right, so we're gonna buy this. Sorry guys, I had to skip ahead because I didn't want you to see all my personal info. So here is the order and this is what it's gonna look like after you make your purchase. And here's a link to download it. So when you download it, yes, it'll show up. And also another very important note, I would not recommend trying to do this on your phone or on like a, an iPad. Do this on a laptop or a desktop because you're gonna need to get this file eventually onto a USB drive. I think it's just gonna be a lot easier for you to transfer it if it's on a, an actual computer or a laptop. Okay, so you're gonna right click on this, extract all, extract. Okay, that's a lot of, lot of items. And usually the fonts come in several different sizes. So that's why there are so many files. Okay, so that's done. And you can see the folder is in here. I'm also gonna get rid of this in the hoop one. After I'm done with these folders, I usually just delete them. I don't really need this anymore. I got what I needed. So I'm gonna take the starfish script and I'm going to drag it into my embroidery files. All right, and then you'll see everything I have in here. And now I've got the uh, starfish. Okay, so I'm gonna take my folder here and I'm going to drag it into embroidery files. This is how the files came. There are quite a few. Notice they have the different sizes here like this. And then if you click on that folder, you get subfolders with all the file types, but you also see the BX folder and that is what we're gonna need. All right, so we're going to go into Embrilliance Express now and I'm gonna show you what goes on from here. This is the Embrilliance Express icon on my desktop. I'm gonna click on it. 
you're going to see this screen that says like serial number entry. This is if you have a paid version. I don't just click done. Don't enter anything in. So it's going to open and say this program is running in express mode. It will save license designs and fonts. However, most of the program features will not be available. Click OK and I'm going to show you what that all means. What you're going to do to import your fonts, go to this uh, A icon up here. That's for text. And you'll notice over here, I've got all of my downloaded fonts in here. So to get all of your fonts in here, here's all of the starfish script sizes. You're just going to take this and drag it onto Embrilliance Express. It's going to say the font starfish script one inch has been installed. Do this for every size. And that's all you have to do to automatically get it in there. 2.5 inch, drag to just anywhere in Embrilliance Express. All right, I just need three inch, hit OK, and then 3.5 inch, and that is it. So now when you go to your options, you will see the Starfish script right here, see? Okay, and how you change the font in here is, see this little box on the, like the middle of the right-hand side? This is where you can enter anything in. So I'm gonna put my name, for more set and now this is the font so this is one inch that's the smallest size they offer uh, I can also change to any of my other fonts whoa I also have some monogrammed in here fonts ballerina so here's and I'm going to show you kind of how everything works in here so I'm going to go to the smallest smallest size starfish so notice Things are kind of, you know, set apart here. You have options. You can change the slant. You can change the spacing so you can make the letters farther apart or you can make them closer together. I personally like things kind of closer together if it's sort of like a cursive type font. The other thing you can do, and I'll show you this in a second, if you, so, okay, so say you want all of your lines to be touching. Like, say you don't want the J to be so close to the E. You can... Click on this green dot and just move this letter a little over. So you can do that with any of them. And you can really, I like that you can do so much with the placement of the letters. You can also obviously rotate it. So obviously that fits a little bit better. And I'll show you because we did punctuation. Let's see here. The apostrophes didn't show up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do commas instead. For it's fall, y'all, let's do commas. So now you'll see commas here, and I'm actually going to space this out a little bit more. You may want to tweak the placement of some of these. Like, I don't know, so I don't like how some of these are, you know, I kind of don't like how far the F is away from the all, the rest of the all. You can really play around with each individual letter, which is something I really do like about this. So I'm going to move this over a little bit, move the L over. So what I'm going to do with the comma is I'm going to move this up so it looks like an apostrophe. See, here we go. And for this one, we're going to move the S over so that, here we go, the apostrophe kind of fits in a little bit more. Here we go. So this is how you can turn a comma into an apostrophe. I'm going to move that down just a little bit. Here we go. So yes, yeah, so you can do something like that. And this now fits in. And if you click on the entire thing, you can move the whole box down, up, left, right. You can rotate it. So here is where things get kind of interesting. So say you want to add a design, another design. The only way you can merge a design with the font is if you use one of the designs that comes included with Embrilliance Express. That's really the only thing you can do. So they have a few options. I mean, not honestly, not a ton, but I've used the Christmas tree and the ornament a few times in like holiday stuff. So say you, you know, obviously fall has nothing to do with Christmas trees, but let's like, let's pretend it does. Or I'll use this little frame thing. Okay, so say you want to merge these two things. You can scale this up or down. All right, so you can make sure that this is centered. Here we go. This will make the whole workspace either smaller or larger. So if you wanted to save this as a file, you could because you're doing a font that you imported and you're doing a design that was in Embrilliance Express. Now what you can't do is merge font you 
imported plus a design you imported. So this, if I wanted to save this, you can save this works like kind of working file and you can also save the stitch file. So say I wanted to save the stitch file, then I could just call it like it's fall y'all, you know, and then save that. And I can save that as any type of embroidery file you want. So say I wanted to do that, you could. Now here's something it won't let you do. So let's say you wanted to bring something else in. All right, so I'm going back. I'll just pick some random thing here. Let's do this ice cream cone. So this is gonna open up a new workspace here. Say I wanna do the ice cream and then I wanted to do a font as well. Like we'll do, I don't know, your sweet. Just pick any sort of random thing here. One inch. So let's say I wanted to do these two. Actually, I might need to pick something a little smaller. Yeah, okay, so I'll do this. 0.5 inch, whoa, all right. The designs will stitch out in the order you have these placed. So if you were to export this, it would stitch out the ice cream first, then the letters. If you wanted it to be the other way, I believe you can change the order. So now the order is changed, so it would stitch out the letters first and then the ice cream. So whatever order you have this is the order it will stitch out. So now it's back to the ice cream and then the letters. If I try to save this though, it will say the design page contains elements that are not licensed for saving, they may be demo designs. So just know it will not let you export anything. It will only export font plus something that was in their little library here. So if I was to do this like balloon or something, it would let you save that. So there are certainly some limitations to this software. So just a note, if you are looking to merge designs that you downloaded with fonts you imported, I would recommend doing it in the machine itself. So all you have to do is put both of them on a USB drive and then here, and I'll kind of show you what I would do. In Brilliance Express will let you save that, but only because this balloon design is one of their designs. It won't let you save anything else. All right, so let's say I want to just export its fall y'all. All right, I'm just gonna center this as well. And maybe like put it, like say I was gonna do like a leaf with this or something. You know, I might set it down a little bit automatically and then, you know, maybe put the leaf up here. So it will let you save this. So I really just use in Brilliance Express if I'm looking to already type out my saying phrase or name and then later I will merge it with the design, another design in the machine. So I'll save this stitch file. All right, let's call it it's fall y'all text. All right, save it as a PS. This software is solid for super basic stuff. Obviously, if you want more features, you will have to pay for them. But for what I need, this is pretty much it. I just go in here make my words or phrases or names and then put it on my USB drive and then bring it into the machine. So I'm gonna show you what happens next with the USB stick. All right, so let's close out of Embrilliance Express. Uh, but if you wanna explore, again, it's pretty user-friendly with the navigation and the interface. I don't find it too frustrating. You can do quite a bit, at least with the designs and with the text. So that's cool. Here's what happens when you do the USB stick. You're going to insert a USB drive, stick, thumb drive, whatever you want to call it. And then you're going to see this pop up. This is where I keep all of my designs. As you can see, I'll view all of the details. So I've got a, a, quite a few things on my USB drive already. And then I also have all of my stuff on my desktop. This is why you don't really want to download stuff on like a phone or an iPad because you need some type of hardware that accepts a USB drive. And I know most of those don't. So a laptop or a desktop, I usually work on a desktop anyways. So this should have saved my It's Fall Y'all. I have so many things on here. All right, so here it is. So it's It's Fall Y'all text. So this is my USB drive. So really all I'm gonna do is drag this from my desktop to the USB drive. That's it. And down on your computer, I usually do the safely remove hardware and eject media thing. That's literally it. So that's how you get things from your computer to the USB drive. Safely remove hardware, I'm going to eject the USB disk. And from there, I'm going to remove the USB drive, insert it into the embroidery machine, 
And then there is a function on the PE800 where you can then go into that drive and look at all your designs there. So if I'm trying to merge, like say the It's Fall Y'all with a leaf I downloaded, I would just do that in the machine and whatever order that you put the designs into your, that particular project, that's the order it will stitch out on. But the InDesign functions on the PE800 are actually pretty good. You can rotate, you can resize, you can, you know, flip. So there's a lot you can do. So just make sure to get your placement right. And then, you know, you can kind of manipulate it how you want. I would also recommend doing a test stitch for anything where you're doing the design for the first time, because you don't know sometimes when you're looking at the screen, it looks like it would be okay. And then when you stitch it out, you're like, oh, those two things were kind of too close together or whatnot. So always do some sort of test, you know, stitch out just to make sure it's how you want. So that's really all there is to it. I mean, not so bad, right? If you're just getting into machine embroidery, I understand this can be a little bit intimidating, particularly the computer work, but it's not so bad, right? Anyways, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, feel free to give this video that thumbs up. And if you enjoy learning about sewing crafts and DIY projects, feel free to subscribe to this channel, The Sewing Report. And if you're looking for something to watch next, you wanna keep going on that machine embroidery train, I've got lots of other videos about embroidery and the machine I use, the Brother PE800. It is awesome. I will link everything I've talked about below as well. And I highly recommend, if you're just looking for some free software, and Brilliance Express is the way to go. I'm Jennifer Moore for The Sewing Report, and I will see you guys again in the next video.